we want to prove that 5 to the power of n plus 2 times 11 to the power of n is a multiple of 3. So you can see that I have two values, 5 and 11, that both have indices, don't they? So let's have a see and how that affects the question. So for step one, when we try n equals to zero, we have one plus two, which is a multiple of three. So you know we start off with n equals to zero. So substituting it in, one plus two equals to three, which is divisible by three. So therefore it is true for n equals to zero. So remember for these questions, always start off with trying with n equals to zero. And if it doesn't work, then we move on to n equals to one. Okay, so step two is our assumption where we write assume it is true for n equals to k, that is when we have five to the power of k plus two times 11 to the power of k, it is a multiple of three, which means we can write as an equation, which is it equals to three m, yeah? Whereas m is an integer. So now using this as an assumption, we move on to step three, which is where we show or prove that this is true for n equals to k plus one. So substituting in k plus one to here and here, we want to prove that this is a multiple of three. So that is we want to be able to factorize out of three at the end of it. So what we want to do here is to either eliminate one of the 5k or the 11k, yeah? So either the 11k or the 5k, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Either way, we're gonna get the same answer at the end, but the point is to know that we just need to choose one and stick with that. So here we've just chosen 11k. So we split this into 11 to the power of k and then 11 to the power of one there. Now, we know from step two that five power of k plus two times this equals to three m. So we can subtract five k across and you can see that two times 11 to the power of k, which is what we have here, I have just substituted for that. So once I've used the assumption, I know now that what's left over is manipulation of this algebraic equation. And I just have expanded that to become 33m minus 11 times 5k. And if we have just 5k plus one there, that's really not gonna help us that much because at the end of the day, what we wanna be able to do is to take out a three. And we can't take out a three from that, can we? So we know that we have to split that up into five to the power of one times five to the power of k, yeah? So you can see now that this and this, they're common terms, aren't they? Which means that we can just add that together. So now we have 33m minus 11 plus five just gives you minus six times five to the power of k. And now you can see we can factorize out the three and that gives us 11m minus two times five to the power of k, and which is a multiple of three. But before we do anything, let's double check that this is an integer. So I can't see any fractions or decimals. So yes, we can say, therefore it is true for n equals k plus one. And the conclusion for this is therefore, five power of n plus two times 11 to the power of n is always a multiple of three. And in this case, it's for n is greater or equal to zero. Because remember, we started off with zero. So important fact with using multiple with two numbers that both have indices is over here, we want to eliminate either the 11K or the five to the power of K. So just choose one and stick to that. And remember to always keep an eye on what we're trying to do, which is factorize out the three, which is why we knew we had to separate the five to the power of K plus one.